cobblers. Rejoiner slapped down over claims Brexit caused cost crisis better than EU. Rejoin fearmongering over Brexit causing a cost of living crisis has been torn down by an independent economist. The Chancellor's spring statement late last month appeared to garner more attention than would usually be expected of a mini-budget. With concerns over rising costs putting economist at the top of the agenda. He was widely viewed as having done little to extinguish these fears. With even the more Tory-leaning newspapers warning the country is now heading for the worst fall in living standards since the 1950s. Many were quick to point to Britain's withdrawal from the EU to explain current rises. The Observer, for example, recently branded Brexit the great unacknowledged economic dampener. While the national claim Brexit makes the crisis worse as UK exports to the EU plunged, and former Deputy Prime Minister Michael Heseltine warned this has led to growing inflation, rising interest rates and falling living standards. For Julian Jessup, however, the claim is cobblers. On the point of consumer prices, he highlighted the inconvenient truth is that inflation is just as high in the rest of Europe. The latest figures on trading economics show inflation reached 6.2% in February. The average figure across the Eurozone in March was an all-time high of 7.5%, this being well above forecasts of 6.6%. In some EU countries, the figure was much higher still. Preliminary figures suggest in Belgium, inflation has hit 9.3%. Mr. Jessup, writing in The Telegraph, noted the UK's figure, will inevitably rise further to around 7% in March, and even more beyond that. But he added, the idea that Brexit Britain is some sort of outlier is just nonsense. Given rising inflation is being suffered on a global, rather than a national scale, the independent economist noted the usual suspects have had to fall back on the idea Britain's cost crisis has been caused by the government doing less than the rest of Europe to protect people against higher prices. He noted that while different countries have, naturally, acted differently, the UK government is deploying all of these tools, deployed by the EU to protect consumers and businesses, in some form. Mr Jessup conceded Rishi Sunak could, and probably should, have gone further with his latest economic announcements. But he added plenty of appropriate measures were still taken that did not require dictation from Brussels. In many ways, The Economist stressed Britain should actually weather the coming storm much better than the EU economies.